Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tyler. For those who are new here, I'm going to show you how I do my silk presses. This method works best for me. Very minimal products, uh, very affordable products, things that will be easy for you guys to get pretty quickly. You can find these at Ulta, Target, probably Amazon, really affordable products that you can use. First, I'm going to show you guys what I use to wash and condition. I use this Effigy shampoo. You can find this at Sally's or on their website. This is a really good shampoo to have if you wear your hair straight. It makes styling easier, restores body and vibrancy, controls frizz, that's what the bottle says. So I really like this one, it's super moisturizing. And then I have been using this Tijan mask. I love their products. This is like my staple for my hair when I uh, was wearing it curly or in braid outs or twist outs. I love this brand. So I rinsed out the conditioner and I leave it in a towel for a little bit to kind of get all that moisture out. Then I take it down and you can see that a lot of my curls are still intact. Um, I do have heat damage, but I'm currently in a mode where I feel like being a straight natural i've just been natural for so long i've been natural since 2014 and i've worn my hair curly i've cut it really short twice i did the big chop first time in 2014 grew it out and then in 2019 i did a second big chop and then i grew it out again and then i dyed it and then i'm now i'm black to a dark black brown color so I just prefer my hair straight. It's just how I'm liking it these days. Um, it's just going with my vibe. I'm a person who loves to change their hair often or like has different moods when it comes to their hair. So right now I'm black. I don't think I'll be dying it again, but we'll see. Next step after I take the towel off is kind of what I like to call the base products. So the base products are just the products that just prepare the hair for me to straighten it. So I use this one by Effigy. It is the Keratin Green Tea Restructurizer. You'll find this on their website. I use Silk Infusion Drops by Chi. It, this worked really well for me when I was in high school. It's just a product that's been around for many, many years. You can find it at Ulta. Sometimes they have sales on this size too for like um, 16 or something like that. What I'm gonna do first is spray this product all over my hair before I blow dry it. Okay. Then I'm going to take a probably about a quarter size of product on my hand. About that much. You can see it. And then I just rub my hands together like that and I just lightly, well, yeah, lightly rub it through. Focus it in more so on the ends because you don't want your roots to be greasy. It smells so good. It's like one of my favorite, favorite scents. It's kind of masculine, but it's not like overbearing. Now I'm going to prepare to blow dry. So. I like to divide my hair into four sections. So I split straight down the middle. And then I divide this side into two. So I'm gonna start here. And I just like to do kind of to the halfway point of my ear at the top. So I'm gonna take a little bit more for this bottom section. So then I'm gonna do the same on this other side. The major key in getting the silkiest, flattest, sleekest silk press ever at home is a blow dryer like this. It is a little bit more expensive. I think it's maybe between $125 and $155. Link some below maybe some options for you guys that are a little bit more affordable if you don't want to spend 155 dollars on a hair tool this was sent to me it's just full transparency i didn't even pay for it myself so if you don't feel like spending that kind of money on a hair tool i'll definitely try to find some more affordable options for you guys a few settings on it um it just has a cool setting and then it has a low to high setting and i like to 
even divide this section into two itself just so I can get to the root as easy as possible. So I'm gonna actually divide this one up. I just use the brush itself to detangle my hair. I use it to detangle my hair before I start the blow dry process just because I don't like going in just straight blow drying without actually detangling my hair first before I use the hair tool. So I comb both ways this way and then from the root on the opposite side just to get any tangles out. So I'm gonna cut it on at the highest setting. What you're gonna notice is that I'm starting from the ends to the root. That's a major key because you don't wanna have any breakage. We wanna limit that as much as possible. So I'm starting at the ends and working my way up to the root. Another thing I wanna say is, you're gonna notice me doing a spinning motion. This is me putting tension on the hair to try to get it as straight as possible. So I'm just, you'll see me doing that motion a lot if you're wondering what I'm doing. So the root can still be a little bit damp because this does not get as close to the root as I would personally like on the initial first try. So what I do is I take down this bottom piece and then I just blow dry the roots only. and then swing already so necessary so necessary yeah it's already got a pretty good amount of shine on it already so that is a good good sign so I'm gonna do the rest of my hair and then I'm gonna come back and show y'all what that looks like okay so these are the results I got from just the blow dry so like I said before when it's this flat and not that poofy that lets me know that it's gonna get pretty sleek it has a lot of movement a lot of shake and bounce. I'm gonna start flat ironing. Before I flat iron, I use a heat protectant. This one is by Bumble and Bumble. And this is the travel size. And I've had it for quite a while now, almost a year, I wanna say. So I just spray it evenly all over my hair. And then I like to get in that second layer underneath because my hair is pretty thick. So I use this cheap flat iron that I got for $50 at Marshalls. Super affordable. She is like slept on for the most part. I feel like most people are on Baby Bliss, Baby Bliss Pro flat irons. Those are like almost $200. They work great though. But this one gets the job done. This is an OG. When I was in middle school, this was the Baby Bliss Pro. The Chi was the Baby Bliss. And it still works really well. I just bought it because I needed one. I had like a little cheap $29.99 one. I use it on about between, mm, I'd say about 380 to 410, which is the max setting. Don't drag me for that, but. Sometimes I do use it on 14, depending on how straight I get my hair during that blow dry. I'm gonna start out using it on about 390. Yeah. And it just has the, it has the wheel, it's not digital. The hotter the flat iron, the less passes I have to do. So I'm gonna section out the back, the bottom row. I don't like to go too thin because it's not really necessary because my hair is already pretty flat. I do do the chase method 
And I'm gonna take it and I'm going to straighten all the way down. I'm gonna go again. Let me change my shirt so y'all can see that because I feel like you can't really see how good it's straightened in on this black t-shirt. <laughs> One moment. As you can see, she's got that balance on her and a little bit of sheen. Also an important factor in keeping your silk presses bouncy is keeping up with your trims. You don't have to go to the salon like every two weeks or every month, but you definitely should try to find a salon where you can get trims super important to keep up with those because it's, it helps your hair grow and it helps keep up with the overall health of your hair, especially when you have bobs or you wear your hair straight, period. You just want to always try to keep it bouncing and moving. There's nothing worse than a stiff silk press with dead ends. Nobody wants that. This is what we've got so far. Super bouncy, has a lot of movement. Now, I'm gonna shut up now <laughs> and allow y'all to just watch what I do. Okay, so I made it to the last section. So I just go ahead and part down the middle or as close to it as I can get. I can never get it just like directly in the middle, but I like a nice bust down middle part bob. So the bob I have right now is asymmetrical. It's meant to be worn in a side part. I prefer it in a middle part. I just like the way it looks on my face more than a side. The picture that I showed him originally was a side part, but then I started wearing it in the middle and I'm like, I'm really a middle part girl. So I just did the chasing method again. But when I get to the top, I'm gonna do thinner sections because I want it to be as sleek as possible. So like right here, we're only gonna do like a thin section. Just so it can lay right against my face. And then there's some pieces, like I was talking about earlier, sometimes the roots can get as straight as possible. So what I do is just like that. And I don't get any crinkle, any of that natural crinkle way that we can get at the root. When you're natural, it just straightens it out. 